Greetings everyone, John from Trizity Traveling. I've had questions over the years about what gear do I use. So today I'm going to start with my Sony Handycam. This is my FDR AX53 4K camcorder. I picked up my copy in March of 2016. It's got a bit of wear and tear over the years since then. It's just cosmetic kind of wear and tear. But uh, nothing really significant has happened with this camera other than capture some fantastic video. A couple examples I'm going to share right now. Uh, one of my favorite places in the entire world. Visited the Maldives in 2017. This is shot with this Sony camcorder right here. So here's one of my other favorite clips from plane spotting. For the most part, I leave it on the default settings. The camera itself records uh, onto SD cards. Uh, you can also record onto memory stick, the Sony format. I record in 4K. Uh, it's also capable of recording in 1080p and 720p. As it relates to kind of the optical and the lens specifications themselves, the Carl Zeiss zoom lens, 20 times zoom on that 4.4 to 88 millimeters, uh, f2.0 to 3.8. Lens itself kind of gimbals around, so this camera features in-body stabilizing. One of the features of that is it does limit how much camera shake you get when you're walking around or even if you're putting it out the window during a turbulent flight. It tends to uh, make the turbulence look a little bit less turbulent. An example of that is on this particular video here. So as we move the camera around, this is the microphone portion of the camera. It is, you can kind of maybe barely see it here. It is capable of recording in 5.1 Dolby surround. If you are shooting in 4K, it will be recording in stereo, not 5.1. does feature a hot shoe. If you want to put an external light, external microphone, uh, whatever your choice is, it is capable of that. Your zoom in and out controls on top. Uh, this camera is capable of shooting uh, still photos in 16.6 .6 megapixels. One of the things I really recommend if you are doing much shooting at all um, is the ability to have a viewfinder here. You can kind of see it pops out there. If you are relying on the LCD that pops out, sometimes that can be difficult to uh, actually see in the sunlight. And I find that the actual recording I take is usually better when I'm using the viewfinder. The battery for this particular camcorder is a Sony NPFV70. It's kind of a large square lump here. I have two and that has been sufficient for my travels. Looking at the back, it does have the ability for a DC plug-in supply that came with my camera. The record control is this button here. Just push the button, it starts to record. Looking at the far side, you've got your wrist strap, or your hand strap, I should say. And then you've got your multi-port, mini USB, um, microphone plug-in there as well. The camera also includes a 30 times clear image zoom or digital zoom. So you can really get close to your action at the cost of some quality. So I don't use that too terribly often, but it is something it, that is available for you to use. Uh, it does come with a mini HDMI, so you can connect this to a TV monitor and see live preview of what you're going to shoot. Does have a power button. I can turn the power off and you see the LCD is turned off. A night shot mode uh, and a playback mode. The SD card slot flips open there and it just pops out. All right, let's take a look at the menu system of the FDR AX53 Sony Handycam. The menu system is pretty straightforward. You have your zoom in, your zoom out, and record buttons. You might be able to see that my audio is registering as two channel. When the camera is configured for 4K, it will only record stereo. So if you want to get the Dolby 5.1, you would need to change the resolution to 1080p. So currently I my record mode is 60 megabit stream, frame rate of 30 frames a second. The dual video record is off. This camera has the capability of dual recording streams. If you wanted to take a lower quality 1080p, 720p stream to share with Facebook, Instagram, things like that, you could do a dual record. 4K requires the X 
ABCS uh, file format. And the image size for still images is shown here as well. If I have a dual camera setup, um, I'm more likely to use um, the 100 megabit stream. By changing the stream to 100 megabits, the available recording space on my memory card is two hours and 31 minutes. If I compare that to a 60 megabit stream, it goes up to four hours and six minutes. So your choice of video stream gets into your memory card management as well. So one additional item that I've noticed watching YouTube videos, many people's cameras focus on dirty windows, spots on the windows, water spots on the windows. The Sony cameras I've owned have the uh, feature, and I believe other cameras have this as well, where you can switch to a landscape mode. My Sony camcorders have been very successful in this mode not to focus on those spots and the dirt on the windows. So that's kind of a tip that I would give you if you have a Sony camera or if you have a camera that has a landscape mode. Maybe a good workaround for you as you're recording either through an airplane window or pretty much any pane of glass that might be dirty or wet. If you were to purchase this camera from the Sony website, it would cost you $1,000 from their website. Amazon has a much better deal, and let's take a look at that. All right, everyone, this is, of course, my YouTube channel. If you're not familiar or not currently a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button if you would. If you want to be reminded of new content, obviously you hit the little bell button up here. As I mentioned in the intro, I've been using this particular camcorder since 2016. So if you were to look at my video feed, plenty of videos here. These older ones that go back uh, years with the 4K will have been captured with the Sony Handycam. Anything newer, say mid-year of this year, most probably captured with the Sony A7 Mark III. Um, I don't really distinguish between the two. I think both take excellent uh, 4K video. But if you were to click on any of these particular videos, Let's say the cargo jet from Atlanta. We're not going to watch the video necessarily, but if you scroll down and look at show more, you'll see a list of gear. Now this is just kind of my favorite gear that I'm using at the moment. I showed you earlier the video cards and the SanDisk cards themselves. You can see the first link is that Sony FDR AX53. And you'll see the price as of today. Uh, it is January 26th of 2019. The base configuration is $848. There are multiple bundles here. I'm not gonna necessarily go over any of those. My recommendation is uh, the, the camcorder itself, at least one 128 gigabyte card, probably two, uh, if not three, and then an extra battery. Two batteries can get me through most of the day and the 128 gigabyte cards allow me to shoot on the 100 megabit stream and not run out of storage. So that's my two cents. If you guys have questions or comments related to this camera, if your experience is different, I'm curious uh, what your experiences have been with this camera. Uh, good, bad, or other. As always, I wish you guys happy travels. Thanks.